So I failed to mention something incredibly important in yesterday's video that may come as a pretty big surprise to a lot of you guys in today's video. Along with the balance changes that we received yesterday, we also got a really sneaky change that a lot of people didn't notice to the trophy decay that we see every single season inside of Brawl Stars that may make it very easy to hit rank 35 inside of Brawl Stars moving forward. So hope you guys are all pumped up. Let's get into the details. Here we go. Okay guys, so if you've been planning on pushing a specific brawler to rank 25, rank 30, or rank 35, a specific milestone that you want to achieve inside the game, it may be much easier now with a change to the trophy decay. So as you all know by now in Brawl Stars, we have seasons that last a grand total of two weeks. And at the end of two weeks, your trophies get slashed for every trophy that you have above 500 trophies. Now, it was pretty significant, the slash. Say for example, you pushed your brawler to 1,000 trophies you'd be slashed down to like 750 trophies which made it pretty dang hard to get to a specific rank if you're trying to prepare a brawler to get up there but now oh my goodness the trophy decay at the end of each season is significantly less so let's take a look at the values so as you can see from the charts on your screen the trophy decay is now significantly less at the end of each season where before if we pinpoint to rank 30 say you got your brawler to 1000 trophies at the end of the season you would have been slashed to 750 trophies so losing 250 of those trophies that you grinded so hard to get but now with the new trophy decay if you manage to push brawler to rank rank 30, you'll be slashed down to 900, so only losing 100 trophies. Also, I do want to mention on the chart there is a little error on the rank 25. The value should be 775, not 445, just so you guys know moving forward. So this opens the door for a lot of different possibilities. So now, if you guys are trying to achieve a specific rank that you feel like you couldn't get in a grand total of two weeks, it makes it a little bit more feasible, being that you can prepare for it. So say you're setting out to get a rank 30 or rank 35 in the game what you can do now is prep your grind so you grind up with a specific brawler you get them as high as possible and then once the first trophy reset comes around you'll be at a really good starting point with that brawler to achieve that rank that you really want to get on a particular brawler in brawl stars so for example if you guys are really trying to get a rank 35 brawler inside of brawl stars much like myself on mortis it would make sense to grind them up to a thousand trophies getting them to rank 30 and then getting that trophy decay to 900 and then starting from there in the next season it makes it much easier in my personal opinion so guys i've been saying this time and time again on my channel that the very first brawler that i'm getting to rank 35 in this game is going to be mortis i'm not going to let that go i'm saving that prestige that accomplishment for my favorite brawler in the game it is probably one of the more difficult brawlers to get to rank 35 i know plenty of pro players have gotten it there but it is really tricky especially if you only really know how to play them in gem grab now i've attempted this so many different times i believe a grand total of four seasons pushed with Mortis in the game, getting him to like 1,050, I believe is close to my trophy high with him, but just not being able to close off the final legs. But now I think it may be possible. So what I'm planning on doing in order to achieve this milestone that I really want to get on Mortis is first prepping him. So what we're going to do for the rest of the season here is getting him to 1,000 trophies so that the decay will only bring us back down to 900 and then start that season off from there. So what we're going to be doing in today's videos grinding up mortis for a little bit i think we're still at the point where we can hop into it with randoms but i still think it's in our best interest to hop into an organized team comp and get to grinding in gem grab guys i still think mortis is going to be incredibly difficult to push to rank 35 even with this new trophy decay system that we have in the game he didn't get a buff in this last set of balance changes which i'm a little bit disappointed in a lot of brawlers are going to be countering him in this meta still he's still going to be bad in this meta moving forward which is very unfortunate but we have uh uh, a strand of hope to reach out to so i'm looking forward to trying out this grind once again so let's get into some matches okay guys so we found our match with our organized team comp it's looking pretty decent we have sandy as mid and we have two really aggressive brawlers as you can see a mortis and a rosa one thing that i do want to mention that i'm still trying to get the hang of is playing while standing um i've been making videos for the longest time sitting down and uh, it's definitely going to be different. It's something to get used to. As weird as that sounds, um, if you guys are used to playing like sitting or anything like that, try standing up and playing. It's crazy different. Okay, taking out the mortise, hopping in. I don't want to carry any gems. It's one thing I hate uh, to do with mortise. But it seems to happen a lot if you are playing gem grab. 
Okay, taking out the crow, hamming some auto aim. We're doing just fine here. Okay, I'm just gonna stay in this bush here. I'm pretty sure uh, the Sandy can go toe to toe with that Jesse. Okay, nice, getting some heals. Taking out the crow. We're doing good, doing good. Okay, we gotta be careful for the Mortis though. Mortis can make some crazy plays, some scary plays if you're not careful. Um, one thing, if you are going up against a Mortis and they have super, just try not to group up with people so you can get super value and stay alive. Okay, here we go. Drop that super, baby. Dang it. <laughs> I was waiting for the super to get plopped down so we can get some added healing. But here we go. We got... Crow's gonna jump in. Yikes. Okay, I think we're fine. We need to get another gem. Mortis, that stinker went in. Stop the timer for a brief. Okay, there we go. We got countdown. They can't get enough gems in the amount of time unless Morris kills us. Okay, taking out the Mortis, grabbing the gems. We now have 10. Just trying to stay away from danger. <laughs> Ain't gonna happen, baby. Let's go. <laughs> so first game, first win. Let's hop into a few more. Okay, guys, so hopping into our next match, we're up against a Primo Brock and a Daryl. So no mid, unless the Brock is planning on going mid here. But not a good team comp to go up against with Mortis. Primo and Daryl are pretty tricky to go up against. Okay, here we go. Taking out the Brock. There's really the only brawler we can go for easily here. We can only, like, help. We need another person to help out when we're going for the Primo and the Daryl. Or we can go in when they're weaker, right? Okay, we're going to be going down here, but Equinox should be able... Never mind, I thought that was Sandy. My bad, my bad. Okay, we're close to our super. Let's see if we can get some OP super stacks here. Okay, taking out the Brock, taking the gems. Looks like we're gem carrier Mortis now. Feels bad, man. Okay, clipping the Daryl with that. That's good, that's good. We need three gems. Okay, since he's not using rocket number four, I think we should be okay. We're going to jump away. Going in. Rocket number four is pretty good against Mortis. Just because three shots doesn't kill, but four shots will. But since he's using Incinerary, it shouldn't be a problem. Okay, here we go. Let's have uh, Rosa heal up a little bit. Okay, nice. Nicely done, guys. Another victory. Man, guys, I'm looking forward to it. Um... In an ideal world, I'll get rank 35 on Mortis, and then the next brawl will be rank 35 down to Mike, so I can get the two sworn enemies, the the hated two, as the first two. That'd be awesome. But here we go. Let's hop into another one. Alrighty, guys. So heading into our final match here, we're up against the BB, a Tick, and Anita. So a little bit of a harder team comp, but again, no gem carry. Guys, if you're randoms, try to play a, a gem carry. That'd be, it's like, really important. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, Nia's going to jump away, getting another hit on us, but we do have a tick, so that's looking juicy. Lobbers, man. You got to love going for him with Mortis. Okay, here we go. Though tick can be a little bit more difficult to go for. He's an annoying brawler. You guys know I don't like tick very much. <laughs> okay, taking out the tick. Let's go. All right. Looks like... Uh... Can we kill the Nita? Nope. <laughs> dang it, dang it, dang it. Okay, let's wait and see. Can we get away in time? Nah. Dang you, BB. But I think we're doing it just fine, just annoying them, keeping them pushed back and distracted. But we do have our super. Let's see if we can do something with it. All right. There's a brawler in here. Ooh, he almost clipped that tick. We're definitely not playing as good this game. Um, Sandy's carrying us here. All right. Just hone in on the tick here. Okay, let's take out the Nita. Nicely done. Now we got the gems. It looks like Sandy's going to be able to have 10 so we can stay aggro. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Oof, <laughs> the double whammy. Bear and tick head. But guys, I just wanted to hop into a few matches, let you all know about the interesting news with the Trophy DK. But yeah, it's all really exciting. Okay, guys, so like I said before, this is all pretty dang exciting. What are your thoughts about this change? Leave it in the comments down below. I'd like to hear what you guys are thinking about all of this. I feel like 
it's going to be another one of those things where people who got their rank 35 um, in this specific way before the Trophy Decay are going to be a little bit frustrated that it might be a bit easier now moving forward, but oh well, rank 35 is such a cool rank to get, and if more people can get it, I feel like that's pretty dang cool. But hope you guys all enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to slap a like on it. really appreciate that. And with that being said, make sure to keep having fun with Brawl Stars, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.